Hi guys, welcome again to my channel. As promised, we stretch the Halloween vibes through October because, yeah, my Halloween boxes are still coming in. Um, today I have the last one of my huge um, magical suitcase Halloween haul, um, which is the third and last box being the Vampire uh, Special Halloween box. Um, what we know about this is that it is themed around Dracula and that it will have um, a letter bound edition of um, Barnes & Noble. I always want to say Noble Collections with all the Harry Potter stuff, but it's Barnes & Noble. Um, the uh, letter edition of Dracula by Bram Stoker. So yeah, really, really curious to see what's in this. Uh, but first of all, if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, my name is Megan and welcome to Quilt Scene. If you like things that have to do with magic, with Harry Potter, with geeky stuff, with Disney, uh, with books, yeah, well then you're in the right place. Make sure to click on that magical subscribe button and hit that bell. And on that way you'll always get a notification whenever I upload something new. But uh, yeah, I think it's time to sharpen our fangs uh, or our sticks, depending on what team you are. And let's see um, if, yeah, we can find Dracula in this box. So as usual, before we start, a little bit more information about uh, Magical Suitcase. Magical Suitcase is a fandom-based, uh, yeah, company in um, Poland. Uh, they don't create monthly subscription boxes, but they um, create loose boxes um, that can go from Harry Potter to uh, Disney. They do also a lot of Disney. They did one of the Big Bang, they did one of Percy Jackson, of The Witcher. So yeah, all sorts of uh, geeky uh, fandoms. Um, the fun thing about Magical Suitcase is that they always try to combine um, items that they made themselves or that come from small shops combined with licensed items. Um, so yeah, that's always a fun mix. And next to their normal boxes, you sometimes have uh, special edition boxes. These ones uh, cost a little bit more, but then you get more items and often that are more licensed items. So uh, yeah, that's what I can tell you about a uh, magical suitcase. But yeah, I'm really curious to see um, what kind of vampirish things uh, are in this box. So, time for a sneak peek! So when we open this newly styled uh, magical suitcase box, the first thing we see on top is a piece of paper, which is a spoiler card, and black tissue paper with underneath lots of boxes and different goodies. So, uh, the first thing we see is this piece of paper. I hold it like this um, on purpose because this is the spoiler sheet. So uh, that one will keep uh, till the last one, of course. And then we have all sorts of things. Um, there is a big box that I'm tempted to start with, but I'm not going to. We'll start with uh, the bag I can see. And it's not a tote bag, it's a drawstring bag. And this is the design on it. It's actually quite cute and cool. I know Draco isn't cool, uh, isn't cute, but yeah, I have a soft spot for the guy. I love the design on this one. It is like the vampire, of course, in the middle, and you have the the pumpkins and the moths and the skulls, and there is this creepy creature that is looming over uh, the vampire. So yeah, really cool. Um, perfect to go trick or treating, even though we can't, we couldn't this year, but still. Or if you go to, you know, um, an amusement park, this one is also fun to use. Or just, you know, when you like spooky things. Um, yeah, I really like this design because it's scary, but not horror, you know. So yeah, really like this one. Nice start to the box. Um, what? Do we take next? You know what? Let's just go for the big box because I can't, I am too tempted. So, this is the box, it's the black box, and it says on the front uh, Rest in peace, Vlad Tepes, 1431 to 1476. And uh, for the ones who don't know, uh, Vlad, Te Vlad Tepes is actually the real name of Dracula, and Vlad Tepes um, is an actual. A uh, person was an actual person, so uh, the legend of Dracula has been based on an actual person because Vlad Tepes was, um, I think it was a general 
in uh, an army and he was known as Vlad the Impaler because he um, was known for, you know, spiking the heads of his uh, victims on a pole. Um, and his father was actually known as uh, the House of Dragon, which was in, uh, what was it, Transylvanian, I think, or, or Romanian or something, Dracul. And from there came the name Dracula. So, uh, yeah, time to see what's in this box. Tom, 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 tom. I'm so curious to see what's in this. Oh my god. This is perfect. What do you think of vampires? What do you think of? Of course, they hate sunlight, they drink blood, they have fangs, but they also sleep in coffins. And we got an actual coffin. But the fun thing about this, because this is the back actually, it's actually a mini shelf. Look at it. Oh, this one is so cool. And it has below, but you can't see it with, with the lighting, but inside of it, it has um, the uh, logo of Magical Suitcase. So this was made specially for them, but this one is so cute. It You can stand it. Uh, up just like this and present it like this. There is also a hole uh, above right here. I'm putting my finger over it so it flickers in the light. That's the hole. Um, so you can um, hang it and this is just perfect to um, display little uh, things like um, crystals and gems and uh, stuff like that. And I have a lot of those. So yeah, really, really cool item. Oh, this one is so... So stunning and so, so much fun. I love it. I love it. We're going to close the box. So yeah, this one, uh, so far my favorite actually. Really, really nice item. Okay, we're two items in the box and I'm already a huge fan. Um, let's go for something else. Let's go for this one. Feels like a jar wrapped in uh, wrapped tissue paper. And we roll it out. Oh, it is bloody pumpkin. Ooh, natural ketchup. Ooh, nice. So this is kind of a ketchup like jam like thingy. Oh, cool. That's what I like about Magical Suitcase. They go for. Um, handmade items, but also things you can use in the kitchen. So yeah, really nice. I'm curious about uh, how this tastes because I never had blood pumpkin ketchup before. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to try this out and I'm pretty sure my mom will uh, like this item too. So yeah, really curious to taste this. Yeah, really cool, really cool. Maybe this is like um, the, uh, sub the, the thing Vampires live on when they can get uh, to their blood supply. That would be very fun. <laughs> because in one of my books, um, there's also a low-key vampire population, but more in the background because it has a witch in the main role. And they actually live off um, coconut water. And that's their, uh, the thing that they use to uh, yeah, make sure that they don't... Yeah, that's the thing they switch out with blood actually because um, back in the days um, when they didn't do much uh, blood transfusions yet, they actually used coconut water um, because it had a lot of it has a lot of sugar in it, and yeah, that helps. Um, yeah, with blood transfusions apparently. So yeah, don't know how it works or if it's true, but that's what I read and that's where the ID came from. So yeah. We had our ketchup that is safely on, on the side because don't want an entire floor of ketchup. Um, next thing I find is this little hexagonal box and it is ooh, vampire kiss, vampire's kiss incense sticks. I love me some incense sticks. Uh, does it say what it smells like? Let's see. Just directions to use. Okay. Ooh, from what I can smell through the lid, it smells really nice. As I said, I uh, am a witch 
and I love incense uh, if it doesn't matter if it comes in sticks or in cones uh, I also love candles scented candles and stuff like that I have to be careful because my cat is sensitive to smells but still these ones will um, be used for sure uh, and they smell great so yeah really can't wait to see and maybe it even attracts a vampire I hope it's Damon Salvatore I love Damon Salvador. Yeah, I love Damon Salvador. In Twilight, I was Team Jacob, and then the Vampire Diaries came, and I was like, yeah, Team Damon. <laughs> so yeah, really like this one. That can go with my little coffin shelf. Uh, then we have some nice bags. And this one says Halloween Dracula Jelly on the front. And since it's like this I think it are candies, and if it truly are jellies, oh my god, yes, it are vampire fangs. Oh my god, look at it, it are vampire fangs. I used to eat these ones a lot when I was a kid, um, and I'm not going to eat them now because I'm saving them for my brother because my brother loves gummy candies, and I'm pretty sure he'll also love these Dracula feet. So, um, yeah, of course they had to include this in the box because, you know, the first thing you think about uh, when you think of vampires are of, course, are, of course, the fangs. And, yeah, they uh, did a lot of, um, during Halloween, the candies that are shaped like Dracula teeth are really popular. So, yeah, really, really like this one. I think my brother will like this one the most out of all of the things I got from this box. <laughs> Uh, next paper bag is a Halloween soap. I also got one of these in the witch's box. So I'm curious to see if this one is the same. Oh no! Okay, I think I think they um, switched up the soaps for my boxes because this one it has... Um, I don't know if you guys can see it well, but this is... Um, shaped like a, a witch riding a blue uh, riding on a broom with a moon and a pumpkin so this obviously had to be part of the witch's box because of my witch's box i actually got one that had like a skull with a crown and roses so i think they accidentally switched up the soaps but it was okay so because i already now i have them both so yeah it smells the same as the skull one um, but as I said before, um, I don't tend to use soaps like this because I, yeah, I find it a shame to use them um, because I love, I love my shaped soaps. Um, so I usually put them in like the see-through bag or organza bag um, and then put them in my wardrobe or in my closet with my, my candles or something. Um, and then it smells, the smell, it's it's actually then used more as a center than as, you know, an actual soap. But yeah, really like this one. So this one was actually part of the witch's box. But still, now I have both of them. So, no problem. Uh, then we have, of course, the gorgeous book. Um... I'm going to admit this was actually the reason why I mostly bought box um, because um, I already I had to read this classic for uh, English uh, at school and I'm going to grab my edition of it moment if I can find it where are you Dracula somewhere around here I think Here I am again. So um, this was the edition that I bought to read for school. It's um, the basic penguin, um, yeah, classic paperback edition. Um, but yeah, this is the Barnes & Noble uh, leather uh, bound edition. They have um, a lot of books like this because there are a lot of them that are still on my wish list. I think they even have like, the tales of Grimm, the, the uh, fairy tales of Grimm, but then the actual tales, so uh, not the Disney fight, but the actual, yeah, gruesome and horror uh, kind of ones. 
Uh, they also had a beautiful one of Beauty and the Beast um, of the Wizard of Oz. So yeah, I hope to um, collect a few more of these. Um, the thing that I love is of course that it's leather bound, so the, the uh, cover is actual leather. Um, there is, of course, the cover uh, is, uh, and the side also, and the back also a bit, uh, is silver foils. It has black sprayed edges. Um, and then this are the beginning and end pages, which are like blood stained. And yeah, this is such a gorgeous edition because it also has like a, I think it's a red ribbon to uh, mark where you are in the book. So yeah, it's really a luxurious edition and that's actually the main reason why I bought this box. And this of course tells uh, the story of Dracula and also of the her the hunter that uh, is going to kill him. So yeah, I, I really love this edition. I can't wait to once upon a time when my when my 2BR is a bit lower to uh, read this classic again because it has been a while since I read this. I think I read, I had to read for school when I was around 15 and I'm turning 27 this year. So um, yeah, nice, nice book. <laughs> really, if you like classics and if you like fantasy, this one is one to read. Really, I enjoyed it. Uh, then, because the book wasn't the last thing in the box, there are still a few other things. Uh, first of all, I can fish out these little caramel uh, candies that are in it. They um, sometimes throw these in and it's basically hard caramel with soft caramel inside. My brother loves these. Again, all the candy goes to him. It's my... Um, my sacrifice that I give to the holy god of brotherhood so that he leaves me in peace when I'm filming. So next we have the tea um, and on the label it says it's called vampire kiss and that it tastes like hibiscus and ananas. Now the fun thing is the label actually says ananas um, and that's really fun because it's the English version of, of ananas is actually pineapple and ananas is the Dutch word of it. So uh, yeah, really fun that they put ananas on it instead of pineapple. But yeah, um, love the spooky label and the vampire kiss. So it's again a fruity tea. Um, as I said before, I'm not a tea drinker. So this one goes to um, yeah my stash of teas that I gift out to my friends and cousins. Uh, there are still a few more items in it. I'm going to keep the bigger one to last. There is this little bottle with a thank you sticker. I'm pretty sure it's a bottle. Yeah, it feels like a bottle. Let's hope it hasn't leaked. Like in my previous unboxing, there was a pumpkin syrup and that sadly leaked. Luckily, it was really wrapped um, tightly with cellophane resulting that only the paper inside of the cellophane was soaked and none of the other items were soaked, so that was a plus. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, ooh I love the bottle. Okay. BRN, I think it says. It's like this little, um, yeah, vinegar-like, uh, glass bottle because it has like this glass handle and it has a liquid inside that reminds me of blood which is very fitting for the steam of course um, and it has like a nice waxed off um, top with of course some uh, jute twine so yeah really like this I guess the spoiler card will tell us what this is but I guess it's some sort of potion to add to our potion shelf even though it isn't Harry Potter it easily could be because I can see Dracula appearing in Harry Potter actually too so yeah really like this one I always like it when we get potions in boxes uh, then the last item I guess is the last item yes it is is this big box I'm going to show you the back because if I show you the front you immediately see what it is and we turn Ta -ta! so I'm going to open it oh wow and it's ooh, nice. Okay. So this is like a wooden frame that you can hang or you know just put uh, 
on a table or something. And it has in the middle the picture of no one else but our Count Dracula. And the side is, um, yeah, decorated with moss. And from what I can feel, it's real moss. So um, I know I'm not that green fingered, but I do know that mosses um, are perfect for like, you know, this kind of decoration because they don't need um, watering constantly because they um, draw uh, out the um, the water they need from the air. So I guess that's that. <laughs> you can, there's also uh, a pumpkin and like these red winter berries. Uh, I don't know how you call them, but yeah, really cool, really cool item. Uh, maybe they could have painted the wooden frame because that's like a bit of a, you know, it breaks a bit with the style, but still it's nice and it's, it's a really cool item. Yeah, really nice. Love it. Okay. That was everything in the box. I can't just, I can't put it on top. There was so much in this box that I can't put it on top. So uh, yeah, uh, let's check our spoiler card to see um, what was all what all was in it, and of course if we missed anything because that's always um, a danger. <laughs> Vampires, Blood, Coffins, Bat Skulls. We present you our special vampire books. You should be afraid already. What will you find inside? So the first um, thing we found was, and I'm going to have to put, rearrange everything. Uh, oh, this is going to be difficult. Okay, why do I have such a small table next to me? And now you can put that one. I feel like I'm playing Tetris with my uh, things. So the first thing we got was this um, beautiful uh, coffin shaped shelf. You may use it for small skulls and protection stones. So yeah, I don't have skulls aside from some skull beads. Um, but yeah, those these will probably end up being filled with my uh, gemstone collection. Not that they all will be able to fit in this, but still. I love my amethysts and such, so yeah, really love this item. And also love the box that came in. Uh, then we had the delicious tea. That's this one. A red tea, ginger, hibiscus and pineapple. Ooh, so this is a red tea, so I'm wondering if this will actually turn red, like cranberry tea, I think it is. Um, yeah, that would be cool because yeah. Vampire's plot, duh. <laughs> uh, then we had, of course, our candle. Where is our candle? We didn't get a candle. Where is my candle? See? I didn't get my candle. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so it says on the spoiler sh uh, sheet that there had to be a candle. I didn't find any candle in my box, so have to email them about that. Uh, then we of course had our incense, uh, which was our vampire kiss. Really smells great, can't wait to use this one. Uh, then we had our natural soap with captivating smell. Um, I of course had in this one the witches uh, edition that had to be in my witches special box. Um, but still, yeah, really love the soap and this one will be again a great center. Then something sweet and dark, I guess that are these... Um, jelly gummy um, vampire teeth that my brother will devour within five minutes knowing him uh, then we had a uh, jam and i guess that's the ketchup um prepared for us by dainioi love uh, i hope i pronounced that right but yeah great uh I, I can't wait to taste this because yeah this is an item i haven't had before so yeah really curious about this one uh, then we had our wooden picture with indeed real moss. So yeah, this one is also really cool. Love this one. Uh, then we had the beautiful edition of Dracula. This one was of course like the star, one of the stars of the, of the box because this one is just, I mean, I'm going to put it, say it again. Look at the Penguin edition and look at the Barnes and Noble letter bound edition. Look how gorgeous it is. Really love this book. I'm going to put that one right here as well. Uh, then we also had, okay, 
So this is called actually the blood elixir, which makes sense because the thingy inside of it is like blood like thingy. Yeah, it looks like blood, but knowing since I'm also making my own potions, this will probably be some sort of syrup uh, with red colored dye in. So yeah, but really cool. And I like the fact that they use like this tiny bottle with the, the little handle. Yeah, really like this one. Nice addition to my uh, shelves. And then last but not least, aside from the extra caramels we got, we got this drawstring backpack with the cute uh, drawing. So yeah guys, that was everything that was in this box. I really liked this box, it was really strong, um, especially since I only bought it for the book. Um, but the items were splendid. Uh, my favorites beside the book that I uh, put in the spotlight enough already um, has to be, of course, this my coffin shelves. But I also really loved um, this one, the frame uh, with the moss. I think this will be amazing for uh, next Halloween because now we're already sadly switching out the halloween stuff uh for christmas stuff so yeah can't put it out uh now but yeah can't wait to put it out next year so yeah guys that was the box uh, and also the end of my uh, halloween magical suitcase unboxings um let me know down in the comments what you thought of this box uh was what's your favorite item what was your least favorite item what did you think of the book have you read dracula already um just let me know down below the things are also linked down below in the description box are of course uh, the magical suitcase website so you can take a look at uh, the boxes they still have for the next coming months um, and I'll also link down below uh, my previous two halloween unboxings of them uh, which were, of course, the Witches uh, special box and the Harry Potter Halloween special. Uh, so be sure to check those out. Um, the things you also find down in the description are, of course, the links to my Instagram and my uh, blog. On my Instagram will appear the next few days a lot of pictures of all these items. Um, and in a few days, I hope, there will also be a blog post, both in Dutch and English, concerning this um, unboxing. So there you can also read it, reread it again um, on your own tempo. So uh, yeah, feel free to check that out. So yeah, guys, that concludes my uh, Halloween unboxings. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps me more than you think. And now all that's left to say is thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope I'll see you guys soon for another magical bookish unboxing. Bye.